we saw the president and focused on how do we support Nigerians at this time of need. Uh, we all know that things are very difficult for Nigerians outside. Everyone is struggling. I'm here myself on a quiet visit, so this was not really an official uh, WTO mission, but we were able to engage with Mr. President to talk about how, what are the kinds of programs uh, that we could, that could be put in place to make sure that the suffering of Nigerians are uh, being alleviated. And we had a really good conversation uh, on trying to look at community and grassroots programs that can be put in place to create jobs for young people, um, on trying to support women and children who are those who are bearing the brunt of some of the suffering uh, in the country. Um, we talked about how for the longer term, we need to look at investment opportunities that Nigeria can seize, including in the pharmaceutical uh, industry. Um, we also talked about the, what type of support the WTO, the World Trade Organization, uh, can bring. We are already working in Nigeria with women in particular who own small and medium enterprises to try to help them upgrade the quality of their products, whether it's in the agricultural area, in textiles, uh, and in other areas so that they can sell more internationally. We're trying to help them with digital trade. The wave of the future is digital trade. So how do we train and power and give Nigerian women uh, and owners of small and medium enterprises support so they can trade more, create more jobs. That's what's needed now, helping Nigerians to alleviate the uh, difficult conditions that they are in. So that is what we discussed uh, with Mr. President. And as the Director General of the World Trade Organization, we are going to try to do the most we can to support Nigerians at this particular time. As she has uh, mentioned, the purpose of this visit with Mr. President, I think uh, I'll just reaffirm that, that Mr. President is fully aware of the difficulties that people are facing and committed, and I think doing all that he can and with his team to ensure that those sufferings are alleviated. And that was the th main thrust of the conversation that we had. And in terms of targeting those who are most vulnerable, uh, women, children, uh, youth, uh, attracting the investment opportunities uh, that can grow the economy so that uh, our people get some soccer the difficulties that we're facing is transitory. I think with the vision of Mr. President, I think there's reason to be very hopeful that we'll navigate through this difficult time and have a Nigeria that sees us stronger, united, and inspired for the greatness that is in our future. So Mr. President also discussed with us some of the vision on health that he has. I think it's uh, great to see that health is one area where it connects everyone. Health affects everyone, from the policy side, uh, the regulatory side, uh, pharmaceuticals and quality of pharmaceuticals, the financing side, uh, in terms of financial protection, health insurance and all those elements, primary health care, which in every nook and cranny of this country, uh, folks have ailments like, like malaria, uh, vaccination, treatment of basic diseases through the primary health care system, as well as hospital care, which is very important. Uh, because at the same time that you have primary health care at the front ends, you also have the higher levels uh, care that is offered through tertiary facilities. And Mr. President is very committed uh, to doing all those uh, uh, policy interventions, not only on health, but in all other arenas that will bring soccer to this country and to grow our economy um, for the greatness that is in our future. So that was really the purpose of this very fruitful discussion with Mr. President. Well, th thank you very much. Uh, 